Let's see. Drag down the spring. Is that a new piece of trash? Yeah. Yeah, what is it? Joseph is working on a physics problem, applying principles of force and motion. He is four years old. June is engineering a path from Elmo to Grover. She is also four. They're testing new games that Sesame Workshop will introduce later this month. We target um, children typically between the ages of two and five. First, let's measure the monster's foot. But physics and engineering? Can preschoolers really learn this stuff? Young children are explorers. They love to explore things, test limitations of, of you know, real physical objects. Um, so science for them actually makes a lot of sense. You gave me a shoe. <laughs> oh, you gave him a shoe. The games, along with Sesame Street videos and interactive puzzles, will be part of a new digital destination, Little Discoverers, an online site devoted to math and science. It's the newest part of what they say is their mission to engage children in science that they began four years ago. That's right. We first started with the science and nature curriculum, uh, getting children to get outside and explore their world. I am wild nature survivor guy. Ooh. That curriculum quickly turned into a scientific investigation curriculum where we're focusing more on the scientific inquiry skills. Okay. So now we're introducing words such as, what's your hypothesis? With the launch of Little Discoverers, Sesame researchers have aggregated their science segments along with new related material in one hub. What we're finding is that kids are losing the excitement about science around fifth grade. Can you show me a snow monster? I'm building my own. Oh, you're building your own. I'll wait. But will these snowmen and train tracks improve critical thinking skills? When it comes to literacy and mathematics, these standardized tests do exist. When it comes to science education, there's fewer standardized measures for really young children. And I think that's something that will, will come in time. Sesame researchers plan to test little discoverers in preschool classrooms later this year. We do want to know how children are learning from our content. What happens when we're not around? Are children talking about these concepts? Are they asking specific questions? 